Hello and welcome to my YouTube video on what I got for my birthday. So this is a bit of a, a random uh, video. I haven't done one of these before. I did do what I got for Christmas and it was, went down really, really well because some of the presents were a bit random and you will definitely see a theme going on of stuff I got for my birthday. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you make that judgment as we go through the video. So anyway, I will begin because there's quite a few. I will just say this is obviously not bragging whatsoever, it is not showing off. Each of these gifts have genuinely been given me to my by my friends, by my family, and I love each and every single one of them. So let's go. First of all, um, my friend Lara sent me a beautiful photo frame, which is actually at the side of my bed with a photo in it already, and this Lancome Grandiose Mascara wide angle fan effect mascara so i've never used that one before she knows i'm a big fan of big eyelashes so really looking forward to giving that a go thank you lara my friend kim has actually uh, moved to spain uh, so this arrived from not on the high street um the lady that sells it's called hurley burley you can see that and it's the most beautiful little rose gold friendship bracelet so it came in a lovely little box and then it's got obviously this adjustment, a bit like the Monica Vernadier ones, and it's got a special person with a kiss and a heart on it. It's absolutely gorgeous in rose gold, so I'll definitely be wearing that. Thank you, Kim, all the way from Spain. Next, uh, from my lovely friend Gemma, I got the Hourglass um, Lip Stylo. The one I love is Nude Number One, and I'm actually doing a video blog on my top five nude lipsticks, which this will definitely feature in. Um, but I said every year she asks me what I'd like for my birthday, and it generally resembles makeup. Uh, but this is fantastic, I absolutely love it. So thank you, Gemma. Next, this present was from Tom and Stacey. Uh, again, they know me well, Teapot. Um, and they bought me a selection of teas and I actually gave up caffeine probably about a year ago now. Um, I did a detox and cut out caffeine and I feel so much better for it. I do sleep, I mean I struggle with my sleep anyway but it definitely helps me get to sleep. Um, Rubus is my favourite because it's organic decaf and then this one is uh, strawberries and cream. And then obviously you decant it because it's loose leaf if you can hear it. Um, and then you decant it into this. This was fantastic. This was from Sainsbury's. So you put it in here and obviously put your water in there. So I'm really looking forward to using that. They also got me, which I love, uh, some unicorn earphones from Primark. How cool are they? I absolutely love them. And they also got me a couple of pencils, which you probably can't see from there. But one of them says, trust me, I'm a unicorn. And the other one says, girl boss. Oh, yeah. So thank you, Tom and Stacey. My friend Victoria and Monty, her little boy, sent me the most beautiful bouquet of flowers and also these pencils. Um, these have quotes from Coco Chanel. Um, the best things in life are free. The second best are very expensive. I warrant that. Uh, I don't do fashion. I am fashion. Drink champagne on two occasions when I'm in love and when I'm not. And fashion changes style in jaws so dotty rocks pencils absolutely love those thank you victoria monty my gorgeous friend hannah bought me some cow shed products which i absolutely love and some red carpet gel because i do my own nails my gel nails and this color is uh, it's not a taupe 164 so looking forward to using that quite a neutral color which i think will be perfect she also bought me some ladere macaroons which obviously are no longer with us anymore so thank you very much, Hannah. Then my friends, Claire and Darren, bought me unicorn, which I love, jelly cat uniform. Unicorn is so soft. They also bought me a grow your own unicorn. So apparently you put it in water and it grows to six times the size. So again, looking forward to using that. I also got a fantastic plaque from them. Um, it's just friend, a person who accepts you for who you are and it's always there for you no matter what. Someone who knows how crazy you are yet still chooses to be seen in public with you. Number three, a person who can't stay mad at you for long as you have important things to tell them. And just number four, you, kiss, kiss, kiss. So a plaque about being a friend, which is a lovely present. And then last but not least, they bought me a fantastic drinks cup, which says, famous on the internet. <laughs> but obviously fashion. So thank you very much, Claire and Darren, for that one. Next, uh, my lovely friends, Paul and Alex, bought me a um, gorgeous candle set from Molten Brown. 
and get it out. So I love Molten Brown as a brand and I love their candles as well. So it's this beautiful set of three inside. I'm not actually sure, they do smell amazing. Orange and Bergamot, Yang Yang, and Pink Peppercorn. Oh, I love that, I've got the hand cream in that as well. So lovely, beautiful candle set from Molten Brown. So thank you, Paul and Alex. Next, my gorgeous fashionable friends, Lucy and James bought me one of my favorite chocolates, Charbonella Walker, and this, which I love. I don't know if you can see it. So it's Touche Collette by Yves Saint Laurent, and it's the um, limited edition 25 years. So it's like, it's got stars all in it. It's just fantastic. So thank you so much for that. My friend Alex bought me some strawberry and Prosecco sweeties, which uh, actually haven't been opened yet. It's probably the only thing that hasn't because I have had an awful lot of food given to me. So which brings me nicely to the next present, which is a pie. So there's a bit of a story. My really good friends, Craig and Kate, bought me a food hamper, which was incredible. Now in this hamper was pies, one of which is obviously been eaten, two steaks, which were incredible, which have gone, pâtés, uh, chocolate, asti, literally all my favourite things in a food hamper, so thoughtful, absolutely loved it, and I think the pie is all that remains. <laughs> so yeah, obviously food and unicorns is playing a big part in this. Um, next presents is um, my friend from my friend Nicola. She's actually taking me to London um, doing a bit of an experience. We're going to go and have dinner at Sexy Fish, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, but her little girl, Alana, bought me um, a unicorn shower cup, <laughs> which is just awesome and really, really attractive. So to two-year-old Alana, thank you very much for that. I absolutely love it. A, a unicorn shower cap. It's just amazing. Thanks. Thank you, darling. And um, my half sister Victoria and her little boy Finley bought me a beautiful Estee Lauder gift set. Again, mascara. This one is the Sumptuous Knockout Defining Lift and Fan Mascara. And there's a primer as well with it, which is a really nice gift set. I've not actually used Estee Lauder mascara before. I think I've used every other brand, so I'm actually really looking forward to trying this one out. So thank you very much, Victoria. And then my wonderful friends, Paula, Neil, and her son, Max, bought me, uh, you guessed it, unicorn themed, uh, fantastic water mug, which uh, water sports cup, which I'm definitely gonna be taking to the gym with me when I go. Uh, I got this really cute little um, makeup bag or just purse, it's got little silver unicorn, white unicorns on it, which I absolutely love. And a fluffy unicorn key ring. How amazing is that? And I think most of them were from New Look, but I absolutely love them. And then obviously keeping on with unicorns, my mum's very good friend, Rosemary, bought me this gorgeous little purse, unicorn fan club, which I absolutely love. I'm going on holiday to Ibiza in the summer and I'm just gonna take this with me um, and fill it with, with Euros and how good is that? I absolutely love it. So thank you very much, Rosemary. So moving on to family now. So that was all my friends, some incredible presents and you will notice it's kind of makeup, candles, unicorns and food. So everything I kind of love really and pink. Um, so moving on to family. Um, my, I, my family is obviously very, very small. I only really have my mum and my dad. Um, but my boyfriend's grandma, who I call grandma, bought me the most beautiful um, trinket box. I don't know if you can see it. So it's basically glass on the bottom and then it's just got these sort of acetate stones on the top. It's just beautiful. I'll take the lid off and show it you. And it's absolutely, it's not my, my fossil like, it's stunning. And it's like pinks and grey, so I'm going to keep that actually in my dressing room because it's got the lilac in it which I think is absolutely beautiful. So I'll probably put makeup in there or toiletries. It's just so gorgeous. So thank you very much, Grandma. And then Janet, um, my boyfriend's mum, bought me this, which I really wanted. So thank you very much. It's the new Chloe love story and it's called Au Sensual. It's their new one. It's the Eau de Parfum. So it's stronger because I find that Eau de Toilette just doesn't last on me. Um, and that's the new one, but it smells really, really nice. It's got a bit of rose in it, I think. Yasmin Yang Yang, which I, which I absolutely love. 
So thank you very much, Janet. And she also bought me a unicorn mug, which again, I haven't used yet, but it definitely will be. I don't believe in humans, brilliant. And then it's got a little unicorn on there. So thank you very much, Janet. Okay, so my mum, bless her, did really well this year. I went downstairs on my birthday. I wasn't allowed in the lounge the night before. And then on my birthday, I had the most amazing banner that she'd managed to get from America. I think she paid someone to go online for her because she hasn't got a clue how to order anything. She doesn't do the internet. And I had two amazing unicorn balloons and a unicorn banner, which was just fantastic. And she also bought me um, this thing here, which is basically a unicorn dressing gown. I believe it's from Primark. Shall I pop it on? Here we go. Let's have a laugh. I've had the shower cap on. So, oh God, the things I do for my YouTube channel. <laughs> so yeah, 100% unicorn. So this was from a mum from Primark. Thanks mum, love it. <laughs> so now I've removed the unicorn dressing gown. Thank you for that mum. She also bought me, well actually apparently this was from the cats, here you go Coco, um, some Tom Ford lipstick, which is my favourite lipstick. And this is, should be my favourite one, which I'm sure it is. Yeah, Blush Nude, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm doing a video blog, as I've said, on my top uh, nude lipsticks, so this will definitely feature in there. So thank you very much, mum, Hugo and Coco. She also got me, obviously, some unicorn pocket tissues and a unicorn, 99% unicorn hairbrush. So thank you, Mum. Uh, she also gave me some money for my birthday and my boyfriend, Alan, also gave me some money on my birth for my birthday. And a couple of weeks before, we actually went down to London and went shopping to Harrods for me, which was really, really nice and a quite a rare, rare thing to do. And I got a couple of amazing presents, which I'm going to share with you now. So first of all, I picked out, it was kind of between two items, both items, I've one of them I particularly wanted for a very long time. The other item I really, really love. Um, I've sold them a lot to clients, which is this here. So I was kind of a bit like, oh, do I want them? Lots of my clients have got them, but I always look at them and I think they look so lovely on and they go with so much. And I managed to finally find some in my size. So they are the Valentino Rock Studs. Um, and I have to say that they are the most comfortable heels I think I own. And I didn't think they would be, but I don't know if it's because your feet are kind of strapped in that you, you feel really secure in them. But the heel height, um, they're just absolutely amazing. So I'll take the stuffing out so you can see them properly. I have worn them a couple of times. I wore them on my birthday to go for dinner in and then I wore them on, on Sunday for lunch with friends. So I have worn them a couple of times. Now, I debated so much to go whether to go for the black painting with the nude or just the nude. And I'm probably more of a nude person, but because of the next present, which I'm going to show you in a moment, I decided to go for these ones. Um, and I'm glad I did in a way, because I can just get the nude ones all of the time. <laughs> I'm only joking, don't panic, Alan. Um, so I really, really love these. As I said, I can fully recommend these. I've sold these loads for the clients. L lots of my clients have got these, but um, personally, I can vouch that they are so comfortable. And also, I think the patent leather's good because it just lasts a little bit longer. Um, than the softer lambskin leather. So yeah, pair of beautiful Valentino Rockstuds. So thank you very much, Mum and Alan. So I have to pluck up the courage to actually tell you this next one, and I can't believe I actually am going to show you this. So for my followers that follow me on YouTube, that follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, you will know that this next item is something I've coveted over for years. Oh, I feel like I'm, my heart's going just talking about it. Um, I feel so lucky to finally have one and it took a lot of doing. It wasn't something easy for me to walk in. You know, I, I, have, I shop with clients obviously that can walk in and go, yeah, I'll have it and have it in numerous colours. But for me, obviously, I don't have that kind of, of money to do so. But I thought long and hard of it and obviously with it being my birthday, my mum and, my, and Alan, my boyfriend, helped me out quite a lot and then I just put the rest towards it. 
but it's something that I know I am going to have years of pleasure with. Uh, something that I'm going to wear an awful lot. And I do tell my clients, think about the investment pieces and price per wear. So I'll just stop waffling on and show it you. So I finally got myself a beautiful Balmain blazer. So I know how lucky I am. I am a very, very lucky girl to own, finally own this. Um, as you know, this is constantly appearing on my um, Twitter, um, actually more my Instagram feed of different colours. And it was a choice. It, for me, it was either the navy or the black. Um, and I decided because it was my first one and probably only one, I'll definitely go to go for the black because it's just more classical. And then finding the Valentinos in black and gold, it just made sense. And in my head, I'm picturing all the outfits that I can create and the way I'm going to style it and what I'm going to wear it with and wear it to. And just totally and utterly fell in love. So, oh, she's finally mine. Um, and I know I'm stupid being this passionate about something, but when you've fallen in love with something for so long, I've tried this on so many times and every time I've just gone, oh my God, I know it's a lot of money, but the quality of it, the way it fits, the way it feels, the amount that I am going to wear this um, is the best present ever. Well, it's not the best present ever because there are far more, you know, uh, important things than material items like this. But this has made me very happy. So I hope you can appreciate the love I have for this. So my last present um, is my amazing Balmain blazer. So I did get one last present for my birthday, which unfortunately I can't show you in here because it doesn't actually fit in my dressing room where we're filming. So Alan, um, as well as giving me money for my birthday, bought, did buy me a present, which was an inflatable unicorn. It's incredible. And this is because we are going to Ibiza for his birthday in June with a load of us, there's 10 of us having a big villa. And I was like, oh my God, we need an inflatable unicorn on the pool because it will just be the best thing ever. So he tracked one down, but got the biggest, almightiest, hugest one you've ever seen in your life. And it doesn't actually fit in anywhere but the lounge, because obviously we had to blow it up. So there'll be a little picture appearing now of me on it, riding it on my birthday in my dressing gown. Uh, so yes, uh, that was my final present. So I do hope you've really enjoyed watching this fun video blog, just to show you the incredible presents that I got uh, this year for my birthday. My friends and family have spoilt me totally rotten. Um, I feel very overwhelmed by it all really because they all know me so well. Every, every single thing is something that has made me smile and, and brought pleasure into my life. So thank you very much and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye bye.